Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for the month of June. We're gonna see what's coming out for the first, second, third, and fourth week. We will clarify and then pull a couple oracle cards. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'm giving away two free 30 minute sessions with me, FaceTime. And all you gotta do to participate is to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. At 1,000 subscribers, I will um, pull two people out of the bucket and I will message those two. Let's see what's coming out. Please uh, don't make a reading fit. Either something's fit or they don't. So uh, just recognize that and don't make something fit that is not um, yours. We do have two beautiful cards that is coming out here for you. We have the card of prosperity, number five. So there's change that is happening with the bee spirit. And I was only taking one for everybody, but sometimes, you know, two cards want to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the two so we can really look at it. We're going to start with the card of prosperity. And this card is just that. This is about you really taking the nectar and the pollen of life. When this card is happening, it's a sweet abundance. You know, it's sweet from the flower. And this is the card of you're in a really abundant time right now. Really noticing Capricorn, the abundance of the universe that is always flowing into your life and really having gratitude. This is such a great month for you to really um, notice that and to really bring people together, you know, because you're you're very abundant and really sharing that with others. So believing that you really deserve it and really seeing that for yourself is huge. We do have the card of growth and they're both very beautiful. And also the message too is spend a lot of time in nature since you do have the bee and we do have the tree and I love trees. They're Talk a lot about shedding, letting go, and bearing fruit. And with this maple spirit generosity, like I was saying with the prosperity, is about you really sharing, sharing with the people that don't have it. So really being in a community and bringing people together and really opening yourself up to the bounty one more time of the universe. With this too, as you sing, it's a very beautiful full tree and it is just expansion. You're expanding. The universe is also being very generous with you. So this is a sign for you to also be generous with others. Um, this is such a fortunate two cards for you right now, Capricorn, because when you're sharing from your own heart, when you're allowing yourself to blossom, then you are here giving from your whole heart and the universe is responding to that. So prosperity and generosity is yours in the month of June and beautiful, two very beautiful cards that are coming out. Let's go ahead and see for the first week, second week, and so on, what is happening here for you. So we do have the first card is the world. Three came in my hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them. We have the queen of voices, and then we have the, the hermit, and let's go ahead, and the empress, wow. Wow, 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 at the bottom of the deck, you have three major arcanas. This is a big month for you, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, I have the card of nine of emotions, which is the nine of cups. Wishes being fulfilled, dreams coming true. I mean, you cannot have a better duo. At first, this was kind of sideways. So I would say that you're in between worlds because I had three cards that came in my hand that kind of was like that. So not taking away from it being upright, but the message was to, to go ahead and to share that message as well because it when we understand tarot and when we understand some things, then we can go ahead and shift our perspective and see what it is that you need. So in the first week, it is about a completion, about a world, about things coming together. And it is about you completing a cycle in your life. Whatever that that is for you, again, with the world cosmos, what you're seeing is that you are the cosmo, the world is you and you are it. It's about really completions, coming full circles in whatever that this area is for you. It's an ending of a cycle. It's about ascension and tying up loose ends. So, you know, the first week you may want to really try to tie up some loose, you know, some loose ends. And it's also the card of travel. A lot of travel could be happening for you. And again, maybe you're coming into something. There's something here that spirit is just blessing you with. But it just is about you asking yourself what cycle needs to end. And in the second week, you're really having a lot of clarity with the queen of voices. But let's go ahead and see what the world card is talking when it comes to, look at that. The card that wants to come out is the nine of cups in reverse. And remember, 
we have the nine of cups and it's upright in the other deck. So what you're, cl what you're closing are the things that are no longer in alignment for your happiness. What you want to close out is what is not a wish fulfilled for you any longer. What don't you want any longer? And that's a great question to ask yourself, you know, what within this new world that you're creating does not the past wishes can come in? What within the past wishes did not come into your life that you're now ready to close the chapter on? These are questions to kind of ask yourself at this time. Because when we do get the queen of voices that is coming out, she is the bitch of the tarot. I don't care, male, female. She just is. She's been through a lot of hardship. She's been through a lot. She knows what she wants. And yes, she's pretty much... Um, Somebody, I want to bring it up, who is just, who knows? She's about truth. She's about clarity, knowing her truth, speaking her truth, and really sticking to that because she's been through a lot. So this is also in the second week is asking you, you know, what have you gone through? And I'm going to put a clarifier on that to just get a little bit more. But when you can ask yourself, what have you gone through that you no longer want to experience? And this is really being honest with yourself. So in the second weeks is about you speaking your truth. It's about having an honest, honest, honest communication and complete clarity because that is what you're doing. You're picking up whatever that feels right for you before you go within. Again, there's a within feeling that's coming out here about what needs to close out, what cycle needs to end for you and really becoming you know, who do you need to cut out? What do you need to cut out? And let's see what card wants to come out for that. Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is about growth. It's about what's no longer growing. And where are you? Are you wanting to grow something? Are you still wanting to grow something that once was a wish fulfilled? Once was a wish that you wanted fulfilled? You know, something that still hasn't ended for you. So the second week is about being really honest and really communicating. What is it that you want to work on? Do you want to work on something that before you thought this could have been something wish fulfilling? It would have been your world, something to that effect, right? The hermit card comes and says, well, it's time in the third week for you to really go within so you can answer this question. And by you going within is... You know, they say we ghost things, we move away from other other people and things so we can hear the guru within, right? It's the hermit. The hermit is the guru within so it can find its own enlightenment. It's like the Buddha that's sitting at the tree. So this is about you really becoming a sage of yourself, right? Mentoring yourself or seeking somebody who can mentor and, and really answer the questions that you're seeking, but just know that listening to your own heart and really meditating and contemplating here about your truth and about what it is that you wanting, and then that light, that light will shine because the answers will come when you sit into that contemplation mode. So let's see what the hermit wants to say on the third week. What is it that you're contemplating? And two cards went flying that way. And I grab them. We have the star card in reverse. So the star card in reverse is what? Is again, wishes and dreams not fulfilled. It's wishes and dreams not fulfilled. You have two cards in reverse. It just hasn't been the right time. The star card is our north node. It's what we're destined to. It's our destinies, things that are faded. And here you're going within to kind of see if you still want the same wish. Are you still wanting it? Do you still want what you wanted before? The emperor card comes with it and says, look at that. We have the emperor and the empress. I just now recognize that. So is the wish about a partnership between you and another? You know, this is the masculine and the feminine. These are both energies. This is that the yin to the yang. So is your wish has just been, you, you know, feeling like you've ghosted, feeling like you've needed to take a time out? I'm going to have to put one more on that, you know, uh, because, yeah, somebody's been holding back. You know, have you been holding back from your emperor or from your empress? Depends who's watching. So it's now about releasing the holding back, not holding back, because the card of the empress is the card of birth, is the card of 
you know, the feminine is loving, is trusting, is powerful, is coming from the heart. This is a beautiful match. But, you know, are you now ready to have this? Are you now ready to let go of holding yourself back? And to me, it looks like by the last week, you are ready. You're ready to now embark and to take action on whoever this emperor or empress is. Depends if you're masculine or feminine watching this video. So there's an embarking and then we're going back here to, um, for those of you that this is not about a relationship, it is about you really being generous where spirit is being generous with you. Although some of your dreams may have been on hold by the fourth week, by coming towards the end of July, June, I'm sorry, and I said July, by the end of June, you'll recognize more of the things that you do want with greater clarity and what it is that you want to work on. And right now there's a lot for you that's about travel and about what brings you joy. So really needing the time, you know, to introspect and to really go within, to ask yourself, what do you want to have control over? What do you want to build for yourself? You know, what is it that you do want? And what we're seeing here is eventually there's a match for you. Eventually, there's a match that is coming together and one that is magnetic, one that is very powerful and, and passionate. You know, it's very creative energy. It's, it's, it's hot energy. So let's go ahead and take, um, you know, it's again, who do you want to come into contact with? This is two people that come together, you know. Um, so let's see which card wants to come out and let's see what your card wants to say for you to bring all this to a nice little, uh, and look at that. I mean, you cannot make this up. We have God goddess. Look at this. Look at that. And just to show you this beautiful card. I mean, this is gorgeous. And, you know, so we have God, goddess, and what did I say? Eventually, it's the bringing of the two. And of course, this comes flying out. The God and the goddess are not separate from you. Their stories enlighten you, describing the dance of the creative male and female forces. Wow, look at that. The creative dance between the male and female forces within each and every person. You're a part of the source, the cosmic heart of all, a willing participant, participant in the eternal cosmic love affair between the physical and non-physical god and goddess matter and spirit allow god goddess energy to enter your world are you kidding me softly and gently close your eyes imagine yourself floating into space a black velvety matrix all around you are shimmering twinkling gold and silver stars float in this wondrous place of stillness and silence breathe in silence through the stillness, <laughs> oh my God. Through the stillness, you hear whispers flowing from your heart. Rest here, embraced by your soul, the essence of you. Breathe in love, feel it, illuminating and warming every corner of your being. Rest here in the safe arms of all. When you are ready, open your eyes and feel into your day. I mean, wow. Again, you may want to just take a snapshot of that. And right now, 1333 came on my phone. Really, this is spirit talking to your Capricorns about what it is that you want and finding this wholeness within yourself and having that alignment will bring that dance between you and another as well. So it's absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and give you a closing card. I mean, I love the way that these readings come out. So when you really look at this card again, and then look at all the cards, stillness with the hermit, the world about the world, the dance between the god and the goddess. I mean, wow. And then we do have the card of vulnerability. Showing vulnerability is a sign of strength. So absolutely beautiful. Leave me a comment how this resonates with you. Until next time, much love, much light. Namaste.